हेलो नमस्कार एंड वेलकम नेटवर्क एनालिसिस और पॉट एंड सीपीएम एंड नाउ वी आर विथ अ न्यू केस ऑफ स्केड्यूलिंग प्रोबेबिलिस्टिक अप्रोच दिस केस इज ऑफ पर्टिकुलरली पॉट बट वी हैव टू यूज द क्रिटिकल पाथ फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ वेरियस कैलकुलेशन ऑफ स्केड्यूलिंग in this kind of cases or problems the beta probability distribution is assumed so far as the time consumption of various activities of the project is concerned and according to the beta probability distribution or beta probability distribution the estimate of time is made in such a way that three different types of time consumptions are considered for each activity the first is to that is optimistic time its probability is very low if all the circumstances are in favor in what time duration an activity can be completed that is called optimistic time the exactly opposite is tp pessimistic time if everything goes against or unfavorable circumstances are there then in which duration of time the activity can be completed the optimistic time has also very low probability according to the beta probability distribution and the third in middle is tm the most probable or most likely or most realistic time which has the highest probability of occurrence according to the beta probability distribution and on an average the probability of this time is four times of the probability of optimistic time and pessimistic time and on the basis of this conclusions of beta probability distribution we can arrive at an expected time for each activity what time duration can we expect to complete particular activity if we believe this time distribution to be beta uh, sorry following the beta probability distribution and the formula of expected time that is te on the basis of this distribution is to plus 4 tm plus tp yes 4 tm on an average the probability of this time consumption for an activity is four times the probability of these two that's why the weighted average of these three times is calculated and it is known as expected time the formula is 1 to plus 4 tm plus 1 tp all divided by 6 why 6 weight 1 1 4 1 plus 1 plus 4 it is nothing but it is like sigma x w upon sigma w let's calculate first of all expected time and then on the basis of this distribution itself we can calculate activity variance that means where time variance is of time for each and every activity yeah okay let's start first of all let's calculate expected time according to this formula to plus 4 dm plus tp to1 Plus 4 tm, 1 into 4, 4 plus tp, 7. All divided by 6 equals to 12. Divided by 6 equals to 2. In this case, it will be 1 plus 4 into 4, 16 plus 7. Divided by 6, 24 by 6 equals to 4. in this case it will be 2 plus 2 into 4 8 plus 8 divided by 6 18 by 6 that is 3 in this case it will be 1 plus 1 into 
into 4, 4 plus 1 divided by 6, 6 divided by 6, 1. In this case, 2 plus 5 into 4, 20 plus 14 divided by 6, 36 divided by 6 equals to 6. In case of f, it will be 2 plus 5 into 4, 20 plus 8 divided by 6, so it is 30 by 6, 5. And in the case of activity G, it will be 3 plus 6 into 4, 24 plus 15 divided by 6, 42 by 6, so it comes to 7. In this way, now we have a single time against each and every activity which is expected time. We can expect that activity A can be completed in 2 weeks, activity B can be completed in 4 weeks and so on. Now let's calculate activity variance. That means variance for all the activities. And according to beta probability distribution, the formula is TP minus TO all divided by 6 whole square. So TP 1, sorry TP 7 minus 1 divided by 6 the whole square equals to 6 by 6 the whole square equals to 1 square 1. In this case it will be again 7 minus 1 by 6 the whole square that is 6 by 6 the whole square equals to 1. In this case it will be 8 minus 2 by 6 the whole square again it comes to 6 by 6 the whole square 1 square 1. In this case it will be 1 minus 1 divided by 6 the whole square equals to 0 square 0. In this case it will be 14 minus 2 divided by 6 the whole square equals to 14 minus 2 12. 12 by 6 the whole square equals to 2 square 4. In this case it will be 8 minus 2 by 6 the whole square equals to 6 by 6 the whole square 1 square 1. And in this case it will be 15 minus 3 by 6 the whole square equals to 12 by 6 the whole square equals to 2 square 4. Yeah? Okay. So we calculated expected time that is weighted average of all these three kinds of time optimistic, pessimistic and most likely or realistic time taking weight one of optimistic, one of pessimistic and four of most likely time. Now on the basis of this duration we can draw a per chart or a network. So in the next lecture we are going to draw the network for this project taking this expected time as the duration of the activity and we shall also determine the critical path. That's it. Thank you very much.